Howdy guys, welcome back to The Hanged Man. Alright, we are going to be starting this video with the library chase scene. Um, I don't know if... Well, there's two outcomes to this. One, you get caught by the guy. And then two, you're able to avoid him for like, I don't know, like 30 seconds. It's pretty easy to avoid him. I mean, I, <laughs> I say that now, but I'm going to end up getting caught now that I've said that. But I don't think it really changes anything in the storyline if you get caught or not. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, there is a little bit of dialogue that changes, but I don't think there's anything long term that's going to matter. But let me know. If anybody knows, then uh, if you can comment that, I'd appreciate it. So we got this key. This was back in the other elevator that we haven't really had access to uh, as far as getting on different floors. But we got this in the previous video if you don't know how to get it. It's just the key to the library. So let's use this and go in here, but <laughs> this guy, it's a, I forget his name already, but it's going to be a new character. Um, there's not so much going to be anything for backstory on this guy, but there's going to be some crazy stuff happening. Crazy, crazy stuff in this. I mean, the storyline, they're, they're adding more and more to it. So I don't know what's up with this new guy, but um, just to trigger this cutscene, walk all the way over here, then try to walk back to the exit. And then uh, Keith's going to say, or excuse me, Will's going to say footsteps. Keith, Ed, or Sophie, I wonder if she came back. And then Will's like, oh no, those footsteps are different. I haven't heard those before. Who is it? Are, those sti are there still people in this rundown place? All right, then after that, Will freaks out. He's like, I'm scared. What do I do? I should hide. So we got we to gotta hide from this guy. And you walk a lot slower during this little chase scene. I think a good place to start is actually like maybe over here. Where are you? Oh man, I don't even have the audio turned up either, but I know the guy is saying something. Uh, for my audio capture, I usually keep it low so there's no feedback. So I can't really hear too much of what they're saying uh, just because I don't have a pair of headphones right now. Oh shit, I should probably focus right here. Hey, All right, show yourself. Okay, let's hide right here. No, 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 no. Oh god, that was so close. That was so I know close. You're there. All right, let's go. I think we're good now. I think let's just finish up like maybe over here. I think he's saying something like, who's there? Where are you? But I think once you pass him, like you crisscross him, you can just wait by the front door. I think I, I forget exactly what I did, but um, Show yourself already. he starts running pretty fast. So make sure you're hiding like somewhere over here. But again, I, I think I mentioned this. Hey, but are you listening? If you have the Steam version, you do get an achievement unlocked if you're able to avoid this guy. Um, it's one of the, I think there's 29 in this game. And after this video, I have over half of them. Okay, yeah, that was close. I got the warning sign again, but that was good. You saw how fast he ran back. Little. You, you're... Well, this is a surprise. Didn't expect I'd see you here, Robert. Okay, this guy's name's Robert. I thought you were staying at the hotel, but I'm that subordinate I assigned to guard you. What? Eric? He fell asleep in the car. More importantly, why are you here? Maybe I'm thinking the same thing you are. Huh? I've been researching here and there, but unfortunately, there aren't many clues to his whereabouts. I might be done with this photo, too. That's... It was in his room. I assume you're familiar with it. Okay, real quick, too. I gotta, I gotta bring this up. And I gotta watch the video back, but... I think when we gave that notebook to Eddie, said something about a photo. It's probably the same photo. But I'm not entirely sure what's going on. Uh, so I'll do a little bit of research and uh, maybe talk more about that in the future. Are you saying that little photo brought you all the way out here? If it were just a photo of a building, I wouldn't bother, but this name caught my attention. George Schmid? What about him? He was one of the culprits in the incident 15 years ago. Well, I know that, but what connections are you suggesting between the 15-year-old case and this one? I suspect there's not a direct one. Still, there's a shortage of clues on him. I have to pay attention to the trivial details. To tell the truth... 
I'd love to take you to the station right now and ask about your rebellious behavior, but alas, I'm planning on digging for clues a little more. So you do suspect me. I told you, if you want to talk, do it through my lawyer. I don't necessarily suspect you, but we're in no situation for people to be slinking around suspiciously. Like this guy here. Uh, who, who's that? Just a runaway. Will, Lee. Be quick about it. Who is that guy? Sounds like he was looking for someone. Could it be Ed? George Schmidt. That was the name on the photo Keith had. And come to think of it, I saw the name on Ed's notebook. This is the top floor of the building. I wonder if Pop's still in this building. Actually, there were some stairs to the basement. There was a pile of sandbags in the way, but maybe I could climb over. Okay, well, uh, if you try to enter, it just says you can hear Keith and Robert, but you can't tell what they're talking about. Those sandbags he's talking about, um, I'm trying to think what's the fastest way to get back to them. They're, they're a ways back, but let's go, wait, wait a second. This is, I'm forgetting something here. Okay, this part I got stuck on for quite a while, um, but it's it was my fault. I mean, the game was very clear on what to do. If you take a look at, I think it's note two. All right, so previous video, we got this one. It was the four lockers in uh, Keith's room. The room we were in after he pulled us out of that uh, pool type thing. So we got this one and then these two I'll be getting in this video, but this is the one I was stuck on. But if you take a look, it, it's obviously the tables. These ones right here, it fits perfectly. But you would never, you would never try to talk to this table unless you had that little diagram. So it's it's obviously clear what to do. I just, I couldn't find what that meant. So talk to this table and uh, it says there's something attached to the bottom. That's gonna be the, the second scrap, the second torn label. So that took me quite a while. And then the last one's pretty obvious what to do. But before we get there, we gotta find these sandbags. And I think I showed it maybe in my second video, but just go back to, oh geez, how do I even get back? I think we go, let's go in this one. And then go back on that table that you stacked up with the chair. Yeah, come down this hole. And then come out the side right here. This is the hole we smashed in the wall with the hammer. I think, uh, I think that was the previous video. But anyways, uh, yeah, this is the way that's blocked, so you can't go that way. So let's go back down to this floor. And then I think it's just right over here. Let me take a look here. Am I lost? <laughs> this place is huge. Oh no, I'm on the right way. Okay, so yeah. Um, go back previous to the tarot card cutscene. And then... Yeah, it should just be right around the corner. <laughs> I'm hoping. No, I'm on the right track. I know where I'm at. Okay. All right, so come to these stairs, go all the way down, and these are the sandbags they were talking about. So you could talk to them before, but you can never go over until now. So just talk to these, climb over the sandbags, and then, all right, so there's going to be some more cutscenes, and man, these cutscenes are crazy. Like, the game is getting so interesting now, but uh, yeah, let's do this first. All right, so uh, yeah, these these lockers are obviously the last one, or at least the last one I'm doing. But it's gonna be let's see, one, two, three over, and then just the middle one right here. And even if you didn't have this note, you could still check all the lockers and find it really easily. There's not that many lockers. You can't even look at the top one either. Uh, if you try the top ones, it says I can't reach. So talk to that, do the middle one, and that is gonna be the last torn label. So now that all these, look at this, there's no separate ones. They all kind of get put together once you get them. And at first I thought this was a G, like G1. Doesn't really look like a six, but it is a six. So it says, roll the dice, three, five, six, one, four, two. Three, five, six, one, four, two. So just go in that order with the wood box. 
uh, three, five, six, one, four, two. And when this thing opened, I was like, oh, sweet, I'm going to get something awesome for that puzzle. <laughs> but it's just, a, it's like a letter. I don't even know if it's important right now. Let me read it really quick. Hello, my name is Sergio Bowers. Dustin, since I'm quitting my job here, I'm writing you this letter. Working in Building 3, I've been very glad for your kindness because I hated, because I was hated in Building 4. A patient named Kenny hated me especially. He always sought handshakes from everyone, yet when I passed through, he always drew back. Thank you for always being friendly with me. It's against the rules to give gifts, but I'll give you the name tag I always wore. I hope you'll remember me. I'd like to meet you again on the outside. Take care. Okay, so kind of cryptic. Um, I don't really know what that means right now. But I guess the next thing to do is just talk to this picture right here. Oh, turn your light on first. Sorry for walking around with my light off. I, I wasn't even paying attention, but turn your light on, talk to this book, and it says there's an open book of paintings. Murder of blah, blah, blah. And then after looking at this, I think it just automatically triggers the next little cutscene coming up. You were Will, wasn't it? I'm Robert Hayes. Sorry if I gave you a fright earlier. So why are you here? By here, I mean this facility. I thought I'd wait out the snow with my friend in here. But we got separated, so I'm looking for him. Is that it? Well, I think you should leave soon. It's snowing badly today. What's your relationship with that detective? I only just met him earlier. What about you? You know him? He came to me three days ago for an investigation of a murder that took place a week ago. Oh, don't worry. I'm not the culprit, of course. Though it seems that detective is still suspicious, so he was stubbornly questioning me. So there was a murder? A certain man was killed in an apartment room. Another tenant noticed and reported it, since the stench was awful after three days. Why did he come to question you? Did you know the guy who was killed? Who knows? It beats me. The police just ask questions. They don't tell you a thing. What did he mean by guard? Eh? Keith said something like he assigned a subordinate to guard you. Why do you need to be guarded? I'm not sure of that either. Frankly, I hate being watched 24-7. Just when I've finally gotten away. Why did you come here, Robert? I used to live here long ago. Did you know that after the hospital was shut down, it was turned into a shelter? Yeah, I know. I also heard five people were killed here 15 years ago. Why would you come to a place like that? There's no denying it's a dirty, creepy place. But I did spend a short time here as a child. I just felt like reminiscing about the old days. Fat chance. Huh? Nothing. Will, you came to find your friend, yes? You'd better find him soon. It's going to get dark. I suppose I should go, too. See you, Will. All right. You could catch a cold staying here for too long. Maybe I should tell Ed, too. What did you just say? Huh? I asked what you said. Did you meet him? St stop it! Don't touch me! Let go! Pop? Oh, you rat? What's with this thing? D disgusting! Leave me alone! Y you damn rat! Sheesh! What was that? Ah! You stomped on my friend! I'll beat the shit out of you, you bastard! F friend? What? What are you saying? You asshole! You killed my friend! 
get over I thought here. I, told you to get I don't even beat Robert. the shit out of you for what you did. I may be a case, the detective but you are dead. Was I that will rat beat the shit Will's out of you. You fall. asshole, you killed my, my friend. This kid's wrong, get though. over here. I don't even beat the shit out of you for what you did. I <laughs> will, calm down. It's okay. Breathe slow. <laughs> Your rat's got a crooked right leg, with some of the fur missing, doesn't he? This one's leg isn't crooked. Also, it's got a pattern on its back. Really? You shouldn't look. It's just a wild rat, but I bet you don't want to see its guts. It attacked Robert, though. I wonder why. Maybe he had some food on him. At any rate, good thing it wasn't your rat. Hey, Keith, is Robert a killer? Uh, he ran his mouth, did he? He really doesn't listen to anything people tell him. Nah, in fact, he's a victim. That's why I had my subordinate guard him. Will, don't get too deep in this. You just find Pop and get back to David's place. Got that? I know that. Once I find Pop and take care of everything, I'll come back to bury you. Until then, sorry. How crazy was that? I mean, when I first saw this, I I could have swore it was Pop. Like, why else would a rat come and attack that guy for, for attacking Keith? Or, excuse me, for attacking Will. And if you were Will, wouldn't you want to, like, double check just to make sure it wasn't Pop? You can't just take Keith's word for it. But you're not able to. You're, you're just, it says a, a, a rat, a rat corpse covered by a handkerchief. So, um, I mean, there's no way that's actually Pop. I, I don't think they'd kill him. At least like that. But I hate when games do this. It's like, <laughs> you can't kill off a character, especially when it's like a pet. Like, there was a game back in the day, uh, Illusion of Gaia. And in that game, you had a pet pig. Like, one of the main characters had a pet pig. And in the game, you're, you're, uh, you're captured by cannibals. And then the pig jumps out and jumps in the fire to sacrifice himself so the cannibals can eat the pig. And this must have been, like, 15 years ago I played this game. And it was, like, so disturbing. I'm like... Why would they do that? That's awful. I mean, other than that, it's a really good game, but I don't know. I just don't like when games do that. So anyways, let's go to this room, and um, I think we're going to be pretty much wrapping up on this video soon. I didn't really come across too much more. I haven't really been playing as much as I want to. But in this room for now, just... Oh, look at this desk, too. Let me read this dialogue again, because I don't really understand it. So there's a rope hanging up above. The table looks extremely dirty. And then Will says, this gives me a bad feeling. I should steer clear of this table. I don't know what that means. There's nothing else to really do with the table. I don't know what the rope is supposed to represent. It's kind of hard to even see what it is. But we might have to come back here. It's just a weird dialogue to have for really nothing in particular. But for now, go through the trash can. It says uh, there's many crumpled letters in the trash. And I'm going to read these. There's a couple, but I'll try to go fast. Uh, Dearest doctor, how do you do? I've placed a present on your desk. Isn't it just adorable? I'd be happy if you treated it well. Alice Stanley. Dearest doctor, how do you do? It seems you forgot your gift, so I've put it on your desk. 
please think of me and take it with you, Alice Stanley. Here's Doctor. You forgot your gift and left it there again. Please don't lose it again this time, Alice Stanley. Here's Doctor. So you hate the sight of my face. I heard you talking to Dr. Woods. Well, this should do now, shouldn't it? This time, do not lose it and take care of it, Alice Stanley. This is kind of a hint right here what the gift actually is. Since it says the face is gone now. Why do you so quickly throw it away? I even took away the ugly face. How about this time? I'm quite proud of my hair, Alice. Don't abandon me. Stay with me. This is another hint, too, because, I mean, it's the doll, obviously. Like, the doll keeps coming back to us. And, I mean, the face is, the whole head's gone, actually. So, what you want to do is just place the doll on one of these desks. And if you remember back, I read that note. Um, I think it was, I think it was the last video, but one of those notes said Dennis Sinier had to go on vacation. Um, so that's the name. Just recognize the name. And I think you can even just try all the desks, whichever one works. But this is the definitely the desk you want to put the, the headless doll on. All right, then after that. See a shadow walking up the stairs. But before that, just to show it off, you can unlock this door and it's just another shortcut to uh, this place right here. This is by the, what is this room? The control room. That's the one where we saw Keith after he rescued us. But don't go there now. Um, let's follow the, the shadow up these stairs. Look how slow it's walking too. I can't even move. It's like, pick it up, lady. <laughs> so just keep following it. Uh, go this way. And then you hear a door open right here. So what you want to do is come this way. And then I don't think there's anything new outside. You can try to leave, but it says can't leave without pop. So easy enough, but come up here. And then this door right here, it's always been locked. We've never had access to this door. So check it out. We're back outside. And uh, the wind starts picking up. I think it's kind of noisy. I've got the game volume turned up really loud on the recording end. So I'm just going to be quiet right here. sad happen? <laughs> you don't want to tell me? <laughs> I'll stay here until you're not sad anymore. Because you get sadder when you're by yourself. Or maybe you're crying because you're all alone? I'm all alone too. Everyone thinks I'm weird and avoids me. It makes me really sad. I'll call you Misery, because it's really important to have a name. It says you're actually there. So you don't have to cry now. I'll stay with you. Don't cry, Misery. Even if we're together, I guess we're still all alone. All right, so what I'm guessing, and I, I again, I haven't played this game. I haven't beaten this game. Uh, everything I've played is only practice until I go back to record it. 
So what I think is going on is my Murdoch, Misery, they're all kind of manifestations of Will's personality. Uh, mostly because he was alone. But once Pop came, he had a friend. And uh, he stopped thinking about them. But now that Pop's gone, he's he's seeing these three again. Again, I don't I don't really know if that's the case. It's just a guess. I really do need Pop around. I have to find him no matter what. Okay, well, um, two quick more things to do. Uh, first is grab, well, turn your light on. Grab this right here. Look at all these rooms we're gonna have to go through. Jeez, man. This place is getting so big. We've been backtracking too, so. God, I hope I didn't miss anything. Speaking of that though, let me just show off my items. I think I'm missing, yeah, I don't know where area map number four is. I think I just completely missed it. So if anybody knows where that is, let me know just so I can show it off. I don't think it's an item you actually need, but I do definitely want to grab everything. So let me know if you know where that is. And then one more thing too, just to show it off. Come to this room right here. Oh shoot, not that room. I haven't been there yet. I don't know what to do there. Come to this room. And then talk to this corner right here and it's gonna give you a map of Sunnyside. And then I guess just to show it off, it's literally just a map and it says confisc confiscated from 3202. And there's something written on the back as well. If people have such things as hometowns, the city must be my heart's eternal hometown. Hearing children laugh on the grass in Oak Park, I get a meal in Sunnyside Village, and then I cross Baylands Park so I can watch the ships leave Sunnyside Bay. But those happy days are never to return if only someone could take me back there. Okay, well, I don't know what that means. In fact, I don't know what a lot of our items are right now. And what is this pencil case? <laughs> I still have no idea. We started with this item. At least we still got the knife though, that's pretty nice. Like the other items, the hammer, the screwdriver, those disappear after one use, which is like pretty typical for these kind of games. But we still have the knife, which is pretty nice, I guess. So anyways, that's it for this video. Um, this game is getting so good. I, I, I wanna play it and play it, but I, I gotta take my time and make sure I got everything. So um, I'll try to post daily or every other day like I've been doing. And uh, if you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And thank you for watching.